killing another deer when we really wanted to get a few hogs. So Hayward and Chad and I went out and we hung a double set of old man tree stands a couple days earlier, put the buckeye cams out and just see what kind of hogs were moving through the area. And we found a pretty large group of hogs. So needless to say, I was pretty, I was pretty pumped up for that evening's hunt. Well, once again, we're in the tree and the rainstorm blows in. It's, it's a monsoon comes and hits us and we're just getting poured on and, and I'm just hoping it breaks long enough for some of these hogs to move. Sure enough, it, it didn't take long right after that rain broke. They, they piled out into that corn. We're sitting there and here all of a sudden, man, the woods just erupt. Hogs everywhere. This one particular hog stood out among all the other ones. We weren't sure he was a boar at the time, but this one hog was a, was a big hog, and that was the one that we decided to, to take because he was, at the time, he was still the biggest hog we'd ever seen down there. The biggest one finally works its way down to where I can shoot it. This segment of Red Hour is brought to you by Muzzy, bad to the bone. So the biggest one finally gives us a shot. and I hammer that one. And it runs off about 45 yards and dies. And, you know, Chad and I are high-fiving. We killed our biggest hog that we've ever killed before on camera, and, and we're all pumped. Wasn't long, man, they all came right back in. Weren't sure what happened, which is the beauty of bow hunting. You can, you can get away with that. You can shoot and things don't know what happened. All these hogs come back in. We were able to get settled in on another one. I really actually wanted to shoot the little speckled one. I mean, he was cool looking. I, I don't know what I'd have done with him. Maybe got him mounted like, like Jeff Fox already said, holding up the Thanksgiving turkey or something. But his, his spots were just cool. He had a perfect little circle. If you look on the video, he had a circle about that big, about the size of my muzzy broadhead, right in his vitals where I could have put the arrow. But, Chad and I decided on shooting the one with the white, white socks, the white feet. That one gets out there, gets broadside. You know, I put my arrow right where I'd shoot a white tail, right on its heart. I touch off. Shot looked good. We thought we smoked her, you know. I don't care. 
kept going ahead and bust one. Thanks, man. Thank you. Your OG. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I smoked them both. Oh, dude, you crushed them. Yeah. Yeah. But, folks, there's not a whole lot better. Being down here in South Carolina, freezing your butt off <laughs> in a rainstorm. There's a hurricane in Florida. <laughs> and we don't care because we got hog meat. Yes, baby. Yes. I love both of That was awesome. Let's get out and look at my ass before it's rained on. <clears throat> Found my first air. She smoked. All right. Second air after we found the first hog. How about that? Sounds good. And I turned my headlamp and look what I saw. Went over, we found the, found the big boar. Ended up being a boar, and we weren't sure of it at the time. Ended up being a big boar, and he'd actually broken his tusks off. He would have had probably three inch cutters on each side, and he'd broken them off, I guess, fighting or whatever. Ended up being a big 200 pound boar. He's got a shield, Chad. Does he? Yeah, he does. Hey, shield or no shield, probably gets it done, baby. <laughs> Dude, he didn't go 40 yards. No. Less. Go ahead and drag him out the road, and let's go find her. <laughs> Good luck. What you telling me? That thing cuts you to pieces right there. It's like a shark's teeth. Be nice, ain't it, Chad? Really? Got a second one down. I should say we got two down. We only lost blood about 50 yards, so she could be anywhere right in there. Come to find out. We looked all that night and found plenty of blood and didn't find any hawk. So, you know, we were just scratching our heads going. I mean, we looked at the footage and you just watch this arrow loop in there and just, just drive in her. And I'm thinking, that's a perfect shot. That's a textbook shot on the whitetail for sure. Got back, plugged everything in, started looking, and Hayward said, you know, I've always thought that the vitals on a hog were different than the vitals on a deer. So let's do an experiment. So we did. We looked around online. We set up the hog that he killed and, and really did some looking in to try to figure out where's the best place to shoot these hogs. Closed captioning provided by Hunter Safety System. Don't let your next time be your last. We do a little hog autopsy on the one that we did recover. We took my big hog, we cut it open, we got its vitals out, saw where my shot hit in the lungs. And then we reenacted, sort of, I poked an arrow through the hog while it was upright, like the other one was, right where I shot it. And you know, you're, you're sitting there on video and you're looking where I poked that arrow in it, and it looks perfect. I mean, it smoked her. Looks like a better shot than I made on the first one. And uh, I didn't touch anything. I mean, I might have got some veins or, you know, nicked something in there to make it bleed, but I mean, all I got was I shot right behind the heart and right underneath the lungs. And as you can see from this video, the lungs on a 200 and something pound hog are no bigger than your hand. On a 230 pound hog, it's not much bigger than your hand. That's one lung. Lungs are much smaller. They're much higher and further forward. The heart's further forward. So instead of shooting them just behind the arm or just behind the shoulder in the lower third of the body, like you'd shoot a whitetail and get a heart shot on it we found that you've actually got to shoot up into the shoulder and a little bit higher. So looking at the shot on a whitetail, no problem, would have been an awesome shot. But the way that hog's anatomy is, it might not have hit anything at all. Well, hey folks, we're coming back down here next week to Cedar Knoll. We had a ball this week. We always have fun with Hayward. You know, that one hog that got away from me today, it kind of made me mad. Arrow hit right where I put my pin. But, you know, you got to know your animals. You got to know where to hit them. We got our master targets out. We've been shooting these hogs in the vitals and we're coming back next week for some hog revenge.